Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Satya. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, and creative journey. We are in... Will's turning. We are in Braxton, Mississippi, one of my happy places on planet Earth. Uh, and we've been here for a week now, spending most of the time talking to family and friends or driving out to some of the American institutions like Waffle House uh, or Taco Bell um, or some of the southern places like Georgia Blue and uh, a couple of other restaurants, I can't remember their names. But we've been having a good time and we have been in the States for three weeks now. A couple of those weeks were in Oregon and we just wanted to spend an extended amount of time with family and friends during holiday season and uh, and the New Year's and, and I hope you all had a good holiday season as well and you took some personal time and, um, and then you had a good one. In terms of today's video, while we were in Oregon, I got gifted a bunch of 35mm cameras because one of our family members, her dad used to be very much into photography and he passed away a few years ago and she wanted to give those cameras to someone who would make good use of it so uh, I'm grateful that you know she thought of me um, so yeah I've got I've got four new 35 mil cameras which all seem to be working and uh, I do want to put test rolls through them all to see if they need any extra care or repair packing for this trip uh, was not my best effort I brought almost every camera I own and including a large format camera that I purchased a couple of weeks before this trip. So you can imagine half of our luggage was just cameras and Vanessa was not particularly happy about it, but here we are. So for today's video, I, I thought I will put a test roll through one of the 35mm cameras and also try and take some portraits using my large format camera. Right, so I'm going to be shooting with the Pentax Program Plus and I'm going to put a roll of Ortho Plus ISO 80 roll through it. Uh, it's got, uh, it came with a 50mm f1.7 Pentax A lens and I'll probably make a separate video on it uh, on the specs and more gear focused but it's a multi-mode camera, it's got program mode, aperture priority mode and a fully manual mode as well. Quick thoughts on Pentax Program Plus. I'm definitely impressed with the light meter. I'm gonna try and shoot slight film through it next time to see how it holds up. Uh, and in terms of my favorite shots from the role, this is probably the one because Murphy is right there with Vanessa and her uncle on the couch. And, and Uncle Glenn always calls him his best friend. And, and this is one of those photos that 
captures uh, that relationship in my opinion so yeah Right, so since I started shooting film a couple of years ago, I've shot with a number of formats, but never anything larger than a 6x7. And that's partly because I was intimidated by the process of taking a large format photograph, but partly also because of its expensive nature. It's, it's not economical at all uh, compared to other smaller formats. But the more I watched and talked to photographers that use large format cameras and make work with large format cameras the more I wanted to try it so when Chamonix opened up their waiting list for their field camera the 45 f2 I got on it and uh, I received the camera like I said in the middle of November I believe and I did take some test shots with it for my boat project and some portraits of my friends and I'm still getting used to the process of start to finish uh, and all the different steps that's needed to before I press the shutter uh, and one of the ways in which I got around it being not so economical is by developing the sheets myself. And I was able to do it because my local council have waste disposal units where I can dispose off of the chemicals, uh, chemical waste from developing the film. And I'm using a Stearman Press SP445 for developing these sheet films. And, and it's a very economical unit as well. It uses only half a liter of solution for four sheets of film which is pretty good so yeah I, I will again make a separate video of this camera of developing sheet films at home but for now let's just see some of the portraits I uh, I took with this camera Taking portraits in Mississippi brings me a lot of joy, especially of our family and the kids there to see them grow up. This time around I didn't get to meet a lot of the kids as we were in Mississippi just past Christmas, so I was able to only take Nessa's niece uh, and her friends' photo. She has grown up so much in the last six years I've known her and I'm glad to have been taking photos of her for the past couple of years. So even if she doesn't remember a lot of these moments year on year like she told me this time uh, my hope is that these photos might find those memories for her and i really like this photo of her and her friend i've never taken a photo of Anne dawn before and her close-up portrait is probably my favorite of the three she was hesitant at first to pose but then embraced the idea so thanks to her for sitting down for these images. I think in the close-up shot the large format quality and uh, the detail comes through and I'm happy to have this photo of her. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.